your father and mother, um, you were actually taken from their home very early on. Yeah. Tell me that. Martino Ferales was half Mexican and half Italian. He was a round-faced man from the picture I, the one picture I have with the black beard and a big and lots of bushy hair, and um, and he was uh, a hippie through and through in the seventies in San Francisco, post hippie era kind of, you know, and and uh, and he was madly in love with Marcia Veronica Silvera Prasad. And uh, she was a whole bunch of wonderful things. But she was born in Jamaica, in James Bond Island, in St. Mary's Island. And they found themselves in San Francisco, and they found themselves in love, and they had two baby boys. Me, then named Giovanni Gabriel Prasad Ferales, and my brother, Jordash. I always wonder why I got four names, he got one. <laughs> it's not fair. But anyway, so um, they had two boys, uh, and... and and I've since learned that they weren't on drugs when they had us physically, right? But they were on drugs after they gave birth to us. So they gave birth to us very quickly, both one, at, one after the other. George Ash was my older brother. I got that wrong in the book, actually. Hmm. Uh, a bit of misinformation there. I misunderstood that. But uh, George Ash was my older brother, but only a little bit. They were busy, mom and dad, you know? And, uh, and um, we, we lived in, in squalor in the Tenderloin of San Francisco. And, 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 and they did a lot of drugs and they sold drugs. And, and I'm told my birth mother, uh, I'm told she was a prostitute. I don't know if that's accurate, but I've been told that many times by different people. Um, and I found some court documents that, that when you read a certain quote, it, it, it says the, when they came to take us, the police came to take us from our, our, our neglectful parents. Um, the boys lie there, barely clothed in their own filth, screaming and crying not to be neglected. And, and, and when you go further, you see that there's drug paraphernalia, sharp metal objects on the bed that if we had touched could have harmed or killed us. So it's, it was a, a bad situation for two infants to be in. And they took us and they placed us in foster care and we bounced around from home to home. And I got emotional when you said about my mom and dad because I, I love them dearly and I know they love me. I know they love me unconditionally. They fought to keep me in court, but they couldn't because of their sickness, their, their disease, their substance use. You understand this. Mm-hmm. I know you do. Mm-hmm. Um, they actually kidnapped you. They did. They, 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 they wanted you Some back. weeks in, they wanted us back so bad that they came to uh, the foster care it, for some, a meeting, you know, a meeting. Mm-hmm. And we were, the, the boys, are, we were playing, and they had a whole plan, and they took us, and we were on the run for weeks. With my mom and dad, I'm sure there was an APB put out on them, and they got us back, and they were in big trouble for that. Um, but they really fought for a long time to, to get us back. They wanted and loved us unconditionally. I know that. I know that. I didn't know any of this growing up. At least I didn't remember it. So I thought my narrative in my head was that they didn't, we weren't taken from them, but that they gave us mm. away. So this thought in my head about being given away from, from, from the from the. I hate to say this, but from the jump, I felt worthless. I've had a void in the pit of my stomach, in my chest, since I can remember, since I can comprehend what pain is, I've had it. I say, I say, and there's a, I, I say I was born in pain, like the character Deadpool, which I wear on my hat and my watch. And I wear it very purposely because that character was born in a great deal of pain, and I feel like I was too. And... All of my life, Glenn, the greatest achievement I ever would have wanted would be to walk up to Marcia, to envelop her in my arms, to tell her I love her once, to hear her say it back. And if if she never allowed me to be in her life as her son, I would have been fine with that. I just wanted that one hug and that one I love you.